What is up guys, it is Nick. We are back and it's time to finish up my hour at Elric Shrine. It's actually less than that because uh, the last like seven minutes I was trying to get my recording software to work correctly because it desynced for some dumb reason. But here we are, time to go. I kick off my route here at Elric Shrine by uh, turning in this quest and re-upping it. Could also do this right here and turn these in for uh, the item, the dim nex necklace. But uh, I'm saving up so that I can just do it all at once. But I did find out I wasn't killing these guys at first through my rotation. But they do help because I come up just a little short. Why? 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 I start this video and I gotta deal. Gotta deal with people already. The annoying thing is, is I just farmed here for half hour without anybody else here. Now I have to deal with the shy that just let all the enemies away. All right, all right. I'm gonna come over here to my corner of solitude. Hey, you gotta die. And we're gonna switch servers, cause yeah, it's what I do now. I just switch servers. If someone, if I see someone and they're gonna ruin my stupid farming, just change servers. Just change servers. I don't feel like fighting people. Okay, so I was on Bellinose 3 and someone was there. Let's try Calfion 3. Valencia 3 did me did me well for a while and then not so much anymore. So let's ho let's let's hope that this quick switch to Calfion 3 will go well. But yeah, that's pretty much I've just been doing that now. What it does is it just allows me to Avoid PvP. Um, I know a lot of the times I could just kill the people because technically I was at this grind spot first. But that's alright. I'm, I'm I'm okay switching servers. But if I get to like server 3, because you know this isn't a quick progress to switch servers. If I get too far and I've switched too many servers, I am just going to start killing people. I've had enough. But it doesn't look like anybody's here. Okay, so let's kill you real quick, buddy you that gets us to seven now we want to come back over here i do need to kill these guys these guys are these guys are important there's enough chunk of them to kill that it's worth it i also need to drink another milk tea so we're gonna do that in a second as soon as i kill you all right so let's go ahead and drink ourselves a tea a milk tea i i don't have many of the the real long ones so i'm kind of been saving those don't ask me why, it's not that big of a deal, but I have been saving them. Gotta use my gotta use my favorite attack. I've been trying to mix it in a little bit more. I mean it does help clear a little bit faster, but then when I kill too many enemies, I kinda just have to decide do I wanna leave a little bit behind or not? Or do I wanna actually pick up everything? It's kind of a kind of a difficult decision. So I think we'll get to do this rotation a couple of times. So guys will get to see it. In the next video will be our first, in a little while, longer one. I'm going to farm thousands without you guys. And then uh, show our show our loot for that, what we got at thousands. I don't know why I'm killing that dude. He'll follow you up here to these guys. I'm getting a lot of these magical hit crystals. kill you need to kill as much as i can because it's it's tight on whether or not you're gonna get the uh get the 130 kills on one rotation it's like it's like right at 130 it's like extremely close so i do have to take the time to make sure i at least attempt to kill everything because if i don't it gets a little dicey so I do kill this one. I don't kill that guy. What we're going to do now is jump off of here. What I haven't checked is down here before. I like I've never gone down here. We'll do that on the next rotation because I want to show you guys my rotation. So now I come down here. I hop this little fence here. And we just soar off. Usually won't kill me. Actually, that's the most damage I've ever taken from that. But just soar down here and... Time to kill these guys. So now we're in this area. And 
If I just follow the pathway back, it will lead me back to the stairs to go right back up to where we came from. So we're at 74 right now. This is where it gets a little bit interesting. I like these guys. They come right to you while you're fighting. There's usually, yeah, there's just two more of them over here. So we'll spin through these guys. What I like to do now just to help guarantee is to snag these guys and lead them over here. Then I'll spin through these guys and go into my favorite attack. Help clear out as many enemies as possible. Spin back through. Because I was just killing this pack and moving on and I was not like making sure I killed stuff. And so I was running like a couple short and so I'd have to go like out of my way to get the couple's kills. Because the goal is, I'm not going to kill those guys. Uh, the goal is to get the, okay that dude just disappeared into the ether. Hello game? I'll kill these three guys. Or these two, since that guy's running to Neverland. I don't know where that guy's off to. But, so I'd have to go out of my way, which kind of defeats the purpose of this route. Is If I have to go out of my way, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense. But So now, come here and you kill these guys, and you're almost back from the rotation. So, you can see we're at 105. There's some kills here, so we're not done yet. But you'll see, it's going to be really close, because the stairs are right over there to the right. So obviously we're close to turning the quest in, but we're at 110 now, and now you come over here, and you're going to fight all of these guys. It gets you close every time. It's not it's not a perfect route, because you have to jump off and deal the damage that you take from jumping off is more than these idiots deal to you. Then you come over here, and you pray that you get 14 kills over here, kind of. Which I don't think I'm gonna get. Eh, yeah, I am. Yeah, I am. There's there's more guys over here than I remember than I thought. Okay, so spin back through all of these guys. Yeah, I'm five short. I might not have this. Got okay, three short. Okay, yeah, there's three guys up here. Good. Yeah, you just kind of kind of adventure this way if you're running short on enemy kills. So there we go. Now. I'm going to get on my figure in my not real horse but just the saying I'm going to get I'm going to get on my horse and I'm going to run back over here and we're going to go and go up the stairs and we can turn the quest in and grab it again cuz I mean it's tight I wish there was a little bit more enemies there was just like 10 more enemies somewhere along the route here it would make it so much easier but and a little bit quicker but that's all right it's okay enough, um, but it does require you to waste some time on these smaller mobs. Like, I need these three kills here. I definitely need the three kills, and then I definitely need the kills up here. So, because these are guys that I usually wouldn't kill. They're, the mob density is just a little too small, and they're, they're spread out, so I can't hit them with one attack. I have to kind of single... I have to single focus them, and then go and then I have to make sure I get those two guys to come up here so that I can kill them is that a person oh my gosh there's so there's not enough room here at Elric shrine so that person just that person just left these dudes okay I'm okay with that if you want to leave those guys I will uh I will kindly take that because it's one of the better kill areas slaughtered them elric shrine is just a place that i never went on any of my characters yet really i've gone here a couple times but not overly crazy amount of times and so i'm excited to farm it well i was i was more excited when i did the combat promotion quest because i had never done this before but ooh, an outlaw ring hello i really like i really wanted to come here to farm the uh Asula's belt. That's the main reason that I'm looking, or the main kind of garbage that I'm looking for right now is the Asula's belt. But, and I did get one, so I can't complain. I do have one Asula's crimson eye belt here. Um, but I'm also looking for uh, anything else. Okay, so they killed the stuff up here. Well, kind of. Didn't kill these guys. 
Okay, I don't know why you would kill the ones there and then not kill these idiots, but whatever. To each their to each their own. Go into my favorite attack. We're gonna go check out that other area. That stairs leading down that I somehow never noticed. Okay. So give it a second here to clean up all of my loot. And let's go check. It's just a nice little jump off of here. To jump off of here. All right, so let's go down here. I don't think I've ever gone down here. And there's a good reason, because it's just an empty space with absolutely nothing. Oh, wait, hold on. No, no, there's not the stairs over here. I would have seen it. Okay. Okay, then. No, no, one, no wonder I didn't come down here. But we're definitely not hitting the quota that we need to complete this quest, because I lost, like, a ton of kills there. Might actually get lucky here. Hold on. Kill you. I might get the respawn here. I might have wasted enough time running down there. You don't quite get the respawn. You can just wait. You can just run back to the beginning and wait like five seconds. And then these guys will respawn. But I, I felt like my route was good. Felt like my route did some good. It, uh... There's a little more to it than just a circle. It's a circle. Yeah, see, everything respawns. So, I mean, it works out all right. You can just do that. Go explore that room every time. Look for the hidden, the hidden secrets in the room of emptiness. They couldn't have put anything in that room. It kind of shocks me that there, there's just that empty room. Why didn't they just put some enemies down there? Do do. Okay, let's go back up top here. Everybody should be respawned. The respawn rates are pretty good for these enemies, so. They aren't, like, crazy good. If they were, if they were, like, half a second, not a half a second. They were, like, four or five seconds faster. They'd be elite tier spawn rates. But their respawn rates are a little bit, a little bit slow. Just a little bit. I don't know where that person went. There's got to be something else here that they were specifically going for, like, area to go to. I don't know. I don't know, but I like this area, so, you know. I might just start doing that. I don't know, that might be quicker and more... It might be quicker and more, um... Like, experience... Because I'm really... While I'm here for the belt, while I'm here for it, and I am more than happy to take the belt. I'm really here for experience. I mean, I want to get to... I want to get to 60. That's like my main goal right now. I want to get 60. If nothing else, give me 60. Give this a second. Pick up all our loot. I don't really have an accurate reading. I, I think, yeah, two rotations of up here would get you the thing. Because I missed out on that whole really big group. So, yeah, definitely if you had the, uh, if you had the big group up there, you definitely would hit your quota. Okay, now I'm going to leave you guys and we're going to go turn this quest in again. We got 14 minutes more to farm. I can tell you right now that I don't really like this outfit. <laughs> I bought this outfit and I don't really like it after using it. I don't know. It's just it's just not as good. We're going to use it for this episode, but it will probably be the last episode I use for it. I'm still I am heavily considering the uh the like steampunk outfit. That's like the only th I don't know what else to call it. The steampunk outfit. I think that's the one that I'm considering getting next. Is it this one? No. I do like that one kind of. It's this one. It's the Millen Fedora. Probably wouldn't use the hat, but I do like everything. I do like this outfit. There are some other ones that would be in contention. This is one that I haven't seen before, but that I don't like. It. I don't like that one. The Charles Rene, I do really like this one, so this one's kind of in contention, but I don't know. It's a, it's a little weird. I don't like that one. I don't like that one. I have I have this one. Carlstein? New. 
I do kind of like this one. I don't know. I kind of like it. I like all white stuff, so a part of me wants to get that, but I'm not sure. I don't like that. I kind of like that. Kind of. It's like a hard kind of like it. I, I It's either the steampunk or the flory, or I just go back to my normal arm or outfit. It's really the only ways you slice it. I either just stick with what I have, or we're going, we're going with one of those two. I feel it dumb to buy like two outfits in two days. That feels like really dumb, but I don't know. I haven't spent money on this game in a while, so and I mean technically I wouldn't be spending any more money because I still have crap left over. Oh, there we go. There's a belt. But I already have a belt, but that, I broke my last belt. I, I need the weakened belt so I can upgrade. So, okay, I'm not going to sit here and kill those guys as they spawn. Because they're going to keep spawning for a little while. So we're going to come up here and slaughter these poor guys. Clean them out with that attack. And, oh, I didn't kill the guy. It didn't even deal damage to this guy behind me? Okay. Okay, picked up most of the loot, so that's good. Blackstone weapon, nice. I really need one weak. I just want, I just want one weakened belt, which I think I've got drop here. I'm not a hundred percent sure, but I'm pretty sure I've had it drop here. I think I had one weakened belt. And, you know, a 70% chance of upgrade, and it failed, and so it all broke, and I was the big sad about it. Okay, so spin, try to pop this. I, I, I was a little, I was a little, uh, I was a little early on the trigger on that one. You can get it to pop it, like, right as you come out of the spin. I just completely jacked that up. Probably should have put on more drop rate, but I just didn't. I probably should have. With what I'm trying to do, I probably should have. But that's all right. Because I probably should have tried to get another... Because... Because if I could upgrade it to pry, I really want two weakens because I think I can easily get it to duo, but it's kind of a, I don't know, it's kind of an interesting call. Is this where that person went was like, oh, no. Where's that room with the books? There's like a room here. It's like a library. I might as well search around. I have to kill a few seconds. Is it? It's right here, isn't it? Yeah. You can read these books and get, like, bonuses from them. I think I already read them on another character, so I'm assuming it just gives them to you on every character, but I forget exactly what the bonuses were. I think I... I don't know when I found those. Did I find them on recording? Okay. Try to avoid... Okay. Game. Game. Let me jump this wall. I want to kill these guys first so that they respawn. Have gotten some decent experience from this. I'm happy with the experience. One hour for about a little over 10% is not bad. And I mean, we're not even at the hour yet, so it's going to be like 12, 13%. So that's not bad at this level. It's no thousands, but it's still pretty good. Still pretty good, and not everybody respawned. Okay. Hello, everybody. Why Why did they not spawn? Why did everything... Why did half of them respawn? Or did I just screw this up because they tried to take weird routes to get to me when I was down there? I don't know. Don't know, but we're going up. We only need 40 more kills to turn this quest in. Probably be the end of the episode when I turn this quest in. Okay, let's kill these two. 
I need to get a better... I don't know, it's weird. It's like, okay, well, I can mix in other spells, but uh, why on earth would I when I could just spin the wind to kill everything while I'm farming? I mean, I have a rotation set. So it's like, oh, when I get to tougher enemies, I already have my rotation set, so who really cares? Is it really, is it really that big of a deal? But it kind of is. I need to... There we go. I kind of got it there. Kind of got, kind of got that off. I do like that, the spin into the explosion. It's not a bad, it's not a bad uh, combo. Because you can spin in the middle of groups and then kind of get it off. That's not what I wanted, game. Oh my gosh, game. Oh my gosh. Okay, game, don't let me do it. That's all right, whatever. I was trying to do my favorite attack, but it wasn't letting me do it. Like, why is there just a random cultist in this room? This, like, really tight room. Why are you guys going into the room of shame? What are you doing? What did I just... What did I just witness? Yeah, there's, like, two guys respawned. Huh. That's really odd. But I'm going to use my favorite attack on these guys, because... We're about to end the video, so why the heck not? Why the heck not? I guess we have seven minutes. I don't actually have to end it yet, but now I have to wait for these guys to respawn. So we are going to end it. But, uh, yeah. So this was about, I'll show you guys the results of about an hour of farming here. It ended up being more closer to like 50 minutes by the time I subtracted. I did farm a little bit before I activated my bonuses because I was getting some stuff set up, but... Yes, so let's turn turn this in. I stutter. Turn it in. Bro, you gotta go. Thank you. Okay, so we got 2,000 cultist tokens, which is equivalent to about 3 million gold because I can trade them in for three, gold, three things of gold. I got 70 broken, or 444 broken timber, which will sell for garbage, so don't really care about that. I got a bunch of regular stuff um that i'll obviously try to sell if i can't sell it to on the market i'll just sell it sell it like to a merchant um the corruption seals this is nice i want to get all the way up to the necklace uh of sealed spell so we're gonna try that but i don't have enough to do it i need what is that 50 i need 30 of these i think i have six back at my thing so i only need to get I need to do this two more. I need to farm it two more times, which I would do now, except I have to go back and get the thing anyway. So I have to come back here anyway later. So I'll probably take care of that at another time. But yeah, we'll be able to do that. Three black weapon stones. I got a bunch of these magic crystal of infinity. So I'll sell those. Um, all in all, decent. Not not a bad, not a bad loot. Um, I have a good route, which I think helps because I can continually get this done which is really nice, but overall, I like Elric Shrine, but I don't think it's that great of a spot, because it's definitely worse than Abandoned Iron Mine and Helms, and it's definitely worse than Thousands, like, clearly it's worse than Thousands, so it's kind of hard for me to want to farm here again. I like it. <clears throat> I like the area. I like the location it's in, um, but I, it's just hard for me to want to do it, because I just think there are, I just I just think there are better spots. So it makes it hard for me to want to come here, but I do need to get weakened to Sula's belts. So I will probably come back to do this again, but I'm not sure past that if I will do this on this character ever again. I I might do it on other characters, but like on this character, I think we're pretty much done. I mean, there's a chance. There's always a there's always a chance with with anything in any game. I can't say never because I plan to play this character for a long time, so I can't say never. But it's probably going to be a while before I like dedicate a bunch of time into farming Elric. Like I'm gonna do a video of three hours at thousands. It's it's we're not we're never doing three hours at Elric. I can tell you that. But. I hope you guys enjoyed. Drop the video a like if you did. Subscribe if you have not. I'll stop my blabbling that I do at the end of every episode. And I'll catch you guys later. Peace.